is that um, no one ever gets hit by a meteorite. It's not like, whoa, where did that come from? When you start doing the, uh, the retrospective, the postmortem on these things, um, what you discover is that the reason harm was done was the accumulation of a lot of uh, small, regular uh, flaws in the system that in the moment somehow um, amalgamated to create a harmful situation. So a, a bunch of years ago, this guy, Mark Schmidhofer, and I wrote an article in um, Annals of Internal Medicine. The Annals had, um, you know, the Annals had done a series of case studies of uh, Caragon Bad, medical misadventure. There was the guy who went into the emergency department and he literally fell through the cracks for about 10, 12 hours of getting pain, pain untreated. There was a patient who got uh, an invasive procedure. Her name was Mrs. Morris. She got one intended for Mrs. Morrison. Uh, there was a pa- you know, we wrote about a case of a patient who, um, instead of getting uh, a dose of uh, heparin as an anticoagulant on a central line, ended up getting um, several doses of insulin, which ultimately led to her demise. And as we started to unt- untangle these cases, what we found was um, tolerance for lots of little things which clearly were wrong. But um, because individually they never were severely wrong, people said, "Ah, oh, well, you know, that's just the nature of the beast. Um, if you pick up the wrong vial of medication, well, put it back, be careful next time. If you uh, get the wrong patient or give the wrong instruction, you know, all right, you know, correct for that in the moment, but be more careful next time. And it turns out be more careful is just a horrendous line of defense. <laughs> I mean, it's an awful line of defense um, against things going bad. Mm-hmm. But um, for whatever reason, the people who train up um, in the sciences and in engineering and all these other disciplines which um, advocate for and reward the um, curious mind as they get further and further and further and further away from the, um, the lab bench and more and more where the responsibility is not the bench or the instrument, but the enterprise, mm-hmm. the um, bias towards uh, experimental inquiry and discovery, it dissipates. And um, I think that's an unfortunate consequence of uh, too many decades of telling managers that their job is to uh, lead by setting objectives or to um, give commands and then audit for compliance right. or to um, manage by, you know, combination again, setting objectives and having metrics kind of an up or out like with uh, Jack Welch back in the day. And it's unfortunate because I think it obscures the uh, reality that these uh, social constructs called organizations also have a tremendous amount unknown and a tremendous amount about them which can be discovered if we had the same inquisitive intent we have for what, what's on the bench top or the workbench.